Identifying Scalp Psoriasis What is scalp psoriasis and how can it be treated? Psoriasis can be described as a common skin condition. The skin may develop raised, scaly, red plaques. This chronic condition can worsen over time and then improve. It is also known as an autoimmune disease. It means that your immune system is causing damage to your body, instead of protecting it. There are many types of psoriasis. Chronic plaque psoriasis is the most common. Although it can affect any part of the body, the most common is chronic plaque psoriasis. Elbows Knees Back Scalp Other types of psoriasis can affect the entire body, specific areas, such as the trunk and legs, or the skin in the armpits or fingers. Scalp psoriasis is a condition where psoriasis develops on the scalp. People with chronic plaque psoriasis are more likely to experience scalp psoriasis. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, it affects at least 50% of patients with chronic plaque psoriasis. Types and Symptoms of Scalp Psoriasis The symptoms can range from mild to severe, and may include Dryness Flaking that looks like dandruff Itching, burning, and discomfort Reddish patches with raised color Silvery-like scales Temporary hair loss or bleeding from scratching the scalp or removing the plaques These symptoms can affect all or part of the head They can also affect the Neck Ears Forehead Other parts of the face How to treat scalp psoriasis A dermatologist may refer you to diagnose and treat the condition Topical corticosteroid medications are the most common treatment for scalp psoriasis. You can also use these topical medications. Vitamin D Retinoids Shampoo with coal tar Anthralin It is possible for the hair on your scalp to make it difficult to apply topical medication for psoriasis. You may be prescribed liquids, gels and foams to treat psoriasis. You may need to use more than one topical medicine. Salicylates can also be used to remove plaques. Phototherapy, oral medication, injections, and biologic infusions are all options if topical treatment fails to work. Follow all directions for how to use your medication. To ensure that your medication lasts for the right amount of time, you will need to know the best times to shampoo your hair. Your doctor will examine you to determine if your symptoms have improved after you begin treatment. Online shopping is possible for vitamin D cream, anthralin cream, and shampoo with coal tar. Self-care tips Dandruff Scalp psoriasis dandruff is different from common dandruff. You may find large, silvery scales. You must carefully remove the scales. Do not pick or scratch them. Combing and brushing Combing and brushing can be difficult due to scalp psoriasis. It can cause irritation to your scalp if you are combing or brushing it. To gently remove scales, you can use a brush or comb. To prevent infection, clean the comb after each use. Are there any problems? Two complications can result from scaling psoriasis. Bleeding. Scalp psoriasis may cause discomfort and itching. You can cause bleeding by scratching or removing the scales. Hair loss. Hair loss can be caused by excessive scratching heavy scaling, or hair follicles. Damaged scalps can cause hair loss in the form of complete clumps. Hair loss may be worsened by stress and scalp psoriasis treatments. If you suffer from scalp psoriasis, talk to your doctor about how to prevent hair loss. Hair treatments such as dyes and perms may not be recommended for you. You might also need to change the treatment for scalp psoriasis. Your hair will grow back, but keep that in mind.